I'm Nathan Marsh. I'm the Chief Digital Officer here at Turner and Townsend. Um, it's a brand new role and it's very much focused on growth, growth in our capability, growth in the services that we deliver to clients, sharing success with them and growth in our own business. An absolutely brilliant role and we help clients deliver some of the biggest and most complex programs in the world which have got a lot of technology, digital and data and systems requirements in them. So it's a really important role for Turner and & Townsend and also for our clients. I think the most prominent transformations uh, in digital in the built environment are the real focus on, on keeping it simple because the complexity and capability in technology systems, the processing power, etc., is profound. So it's really important to keep it simple, straightforward and practical. Secondly, it's really important to keep it human focused and value focused which means not so much focusing on the incredible capability within each vendor or within each solution. That's really exciting, but so what? How is the world going to be faster, greener, cleaner, etc. as a result of it? So it's really important that we focus on the results, keep it simple and straightforward, and keep it human and value focused. And I guess the value lenses that I would like to look at digital through are economic, social and environmental value delivered through great technology. Focusing on people and culture and keeping them at the heart of transformation means a few things for us. The first is that um, it's a collaboration. So as a business, as a grouping of people across the globe, as well as in the UK and with our clients, we recognise that we're going into business together. It's all about collaboration. So we look at shared outcomes, sharing data, integrated systems, driving innovation across the whole programme, the whole transformation, the whole scheme, rather than just a contractual or trading relationship. So collaboration is really important for us. Um, it's also really important to focus on purpose. So what is the point of the undertaking? What's the point of the technology? What what results are we trying to achieve? How is the work that we deliver in the built environment and infrastructure sectors going to make the world and our lives better, faster, cleaner, greener, safer and more sustainable? Um, and it's going to give us a legacy that hopefully we'll be proud of. And that's above and beyond the delivery of a project or a programme. And it really cuts to the heart of the importance of keeping an eye on purpose and legacy when it comes to these major transformations. So we're making some great progress in the construction and infrastructure industry, but we do have some roadblocks that I think we need to focus on. The first one is the contractual landscape. I would like to see contracts being still focused on quality and timing and delivery capability, but also to get greater focus on collaboration, shared outcomes, and driving and extracting value from things like data, systems, and a focus on sustainability. It's almost a new generation, a new breed of contractual landscape. Um, secondly, I'd like to see digital become a life skill. I want to see these major contracts and programs become digital by default, not just down to the technology team or a particular question on a tender. Let's build in the use of systems and data across the full architecture of the program, right from funding and financing, design, delivery, and then asset operation. Um, I also think we need to um, have a we're in business together mindset, again, rather than just a trading or contractual relationship, the contracts are very important, they'll help get things done. But if we feel that we're in business together, we're more likely to be there for each other when the game gets tough, and the game does get tough on major construction and infrastructure programs. Um, and lastly, skills and standards. I'd love us to increase the amount of focus we have on skills, particularly digital and data skills are the future of infrastructure delivery. And I don't think we should be afraid to import skills from other sectors. And then also setting standards, defining high levels of quality and performance and productivity for what the best programme delivery in the world looks like. I think we can make that happen. So here at Turner & Townsend, our digital roadmap for the rest of this year and looking forward really focuses, I think, on five primary areas. 
The first one is, is skilling and skills, the sort of digital skills and sustainability skills we need to build and grow a business that's fit for the future. We want to be successful, to keep employing brilliant people and to reinvest in our business and in our clients. So it's really important that we focus on skills. The second thing then is our tooling. So what tools and capabilities and techniques do we need to use? We want to be and continue to be really relevant to our clients and relevant to the world, but we've got to be equipped to do that. So we're focusing on the right tooling. Thirdly, we're focusing on automation. We recognize that there are a lot of repetitive but vital tasks and functions and processes in our business, our clients' businesses, and across major programs. These are ripe for automation to make them work faster, more accurately, 24 7, 365, and to remove some of the mundane tasks that we all know must be done but we don't particularly enjoy. This will improve well being and also offer people better employment opportunities. Uh, fourthly, we're looking at data modeling and value creation. I think there's a lot of incumbent value and inherent value in data that we can extract. So, value extraction from data and better uh, modeling is really important to us. And then, lastly, the bedrock of it all, I think, is a focus on cyber and resilience. And this is the one that can knock the others over like dominoes. If we don't have systems and programs and business models that are secure by design, I think it can cause us all a headache. So we're going to focus on these five things at Tenor and Hansen this year and going forwards.